All right, so I made another lower support bracket in uh, part two of the floor pan videos. So since I've got a new one now, it's okay to take this bracket out. I'm not going to take it out yet. A little bit more involved here. I've gone ahead and removed the inner rocker panel because the floor pan spot welds to the inner rocker panel. So since I had cut the, those spot welds loose, I figured I'd go ahead and remove the inner rocker panel, which I do in part three of the floor pan videos. But I think before I take this bracket out, I'm going to go ahead and make a part five video where I replace the inner rocker panel first. And incidentally, there is a part four to the floor pan videos where I make the end cap for the um, rocker panels. So on the passenger side, the inner rocker panel is welded into place. So I'm gonna continue now with the floor pan replacement. And the next thing that has to happen is this A-pillar lower support bracket right here has gotta come out. Now the floor pan itself is spot welded to the cantilevered section of the body mount. But the A-pillar support bracket is stitched weld with little one inch long beads. There's one here, kind of hard to see. And there's one here. And then on the back side or the forward side, there's one here. It's a bead about an inch long. And one here and one here. So I'm gonna have to cut those beads with my cutoff wheel to get it out and then also on the A pillar itself there's a bead right here about an inch long and then up in this area there's a bead and then the forward flange on the support bracket is welded pretty much solid right here right in here so I'm gonna have to cut those beads in order to get the A pillar support bracket out so right here, this steel plate right here where the support bracket is welded to is one piece with this plate right here, which is what the inner rocker panel is welded to. So when I cut through these welds, I'm going to want to not damage this steel plate. I need to preserve it. So I'll probably run my cutoff wheel straight up on the inside of the welds and then I'll clean the welds up later with a two inch disc.
And finally, you can see how this, this plate's all one piece, all the way down to here, and how the inner rocker panel is oriented. So that's what I wind up with. The left side is the driver's side. Right side is the passenger side. And I'm going to end the video here.